you know, we did everything that we could to try to figure out what was going on. We checked his eyesight, took his tonsils out, allergy shots, over-the-counter medication, no sprays. We had medicated him just like the doctors told us to for over four years and it nothing ever worked. I wanted answers. Like I was so thankful that she didn't have a tumor or anything like that, but I wanted answers. Why is my child in the bed for 28 days, sick, throwing up, migraine, not wanting to play, just lifeless? He was having really bad headaches, like probably two or three times a week, migraine-like headaches that would put him down, you know, he'd have to sleep it off, sometimes he would have, he would throw up, so it was all the symptoms of a migraine, um, and we felt like that those were coming from his allergies, which he's had since he was three or four years old. She woke up um, one morning and had, you know, she told, she told me, she said, Mommy, I have a really bad headache. And so I gave her, of course, I gave her Tylenol, um, and it just never, it never went away. The second day, she continued to have the headache, and it was so bad that she had, she started vomiting, um, and she was just laying in the bed the whole entire day. She didn't want lights on. Um, you know, she was crying. She just, she laid in bed the whole entire day with a wash rag mm -hmm. on her head. And needless to say, that went on for 28 days. She would have three and four migraines a day. So as a mom, I was in panic mode. I had no idea what to do. I was scared to death. I really was. I just, I hated seeing him like that. Just so, you know, constantly. My head hurts, my head hurts. Um, there would be times when he would, you know, be getting ready for practice for baseball and then his head would start hurting. And I knew it was gonna be a bad one. And we just have to miss, you know, we'd have to call. And he'd end up going to sleep, sleeping for a long time, or he'd throw up and then go to sleep. And so I just hated to see him like that. And I was also a little bit scared. What if it was something more than just the allergies? But everything that we had tried, nothing was working. And I didn't realize back then, I was just doing what the doctors told me to do. We took her to the, her pediatrician. And they looked her over. I was like, well, what is it? They couldn't tell me. They ran blood work. Everything came back okay. They just wanted to just throw medicine at her. And as a mother, I was desperate, but I was not that desperate. Sure. I was not going to have my four-year-old be put on medicine for the rest of her life. Just because you have no idea what's going on with her. And can't give me a diagnosis, yeah. but you want to put her on medicine. That, has, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, this was like the fourth or fifth day. Um... By the next week, it was still, it was actually getting worse. I mean, she didn't, she wouldn't even get up and play. And that's not like her. She's very active. I told my husband, I said, we're getting up and we're taking her to Vanderbilt emergency room. Um, so we did that and they ran tests, um, did an MRI. Because, you know, they, everybody thought, you know, well, this is going to be bad. This is going to end up bad. Um, and it all came back normal. Um, so this was the second week. And it continued on for two more weeks like that. Um, and I took her back to our pediatrician. And he just, he couldn't tell me anything. You just feel like nothing is going to work. And like I couldn't do that sport that I love. I like it so much and like I was just having a bad headache and like I just forced myself to go and it just got bad and I threw up that night because I was playing real hard with a headache. I really thought maybe after 
they took his tonsils out. That's something maybe that, you know, maybe they were in the way and his nose was going to clear up and things would look up. But even after that horrible surgery, it was terrible. It was so painful. That was for nothing. And I think that's kind of what put the icing on the cake. It was like, you know, I don't know what to do, but I'm tired of listening to the doctors tell me what to do. And then it, nothing's working. One of my friends saw um, my post on Facebook and she reached out to me um, via text message and she said, hey Shirley, she said, um, I, have a, I have a friend um, that has actually worked on all of our family. He's a chiropractor and I think he could really, really help her. And I was very... <laughs> I was like, I don't know about this, but like I said, I was very desperate as a mother. I wanted my child better. Before I could even call the number, Dr. Dell had already texted me personally and said, um, Lindsay had messaged me about your daughter. He said, I want you to bring her in. Um, and I, I was blown away. I was blown away that someone, um, sorry, someone that saw my desperation as a mom and wanted to help because I wasn't getting that from any of the doctors. You know, they just, they blew it off. We're so glad that we did. I was a little nervous, you know, about it, but I knew that this was my, I mean, my only hope of, you know, some sort of answer or something, sure. something different than what we've been doing. So um, we went, he took x-rays and um, he saw where the problem was and we left that day with him saying I see where the problem is and I can help you you know I guarantee you I can fix this stopped up nose and these headaches so we were just oh I was so excited so thankful and um he got adjusted the first day before we left and ever since then he's been completely different yes since the first visit Things changed for him after the first visit. Um, he could breathe through his nose. He stopped having his bad headaches. So that was major. I mean, that was huge. I can play more and I can like, I'm more active and I can play outside more and play baseball and then play a bunch of other sports that I like. Now, I'm gonna go back 28 days of migraines every day three and four times a day for 28 days straight. And on the second or third adjustment, she, her, her migraines went away. And she is not, I think he has adjusted her 12 times maybe. Um, she has not had a headache since her third adjustment. Now that she is completely healed. Um, you know, she's able to do everything that she loved to do and more. So, um, mommy's getting sleep now and <laughs> everything is, everything is back to normal. Thank you.